On October 19, 2017, astronomers at the PAN-STARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii made a remarkable discovery. They detected a faint, fast-moving point of light in the night sky, something that immediately stood out as unusual. This object was unlike anything they had ever seen before, moving with a speed and trajectory that defied expectations. The observatory team quickly realized they were witnessing a cosmic event of extraordinary significance. The object was moving so quickly, and on such a bizarre hyperbolic path, that astronomers concluded it could only have come from beyond our solar system. Its velocity was far too great for it to be bound by the sun's gravity, confirming its interstellar origin. This was the first time in history that scientists had confirmed an object visiting us from another star system, a true interstellar traveler passing through our cosmic neighborhood. The object was named Umuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning scout or messenger sent from afar. The name perfectly captured the sense of mystery and wonder surrounding its origins, as if it were a visitor bringing secrets from distant worlds. As news of the discovery spread, telescopes around the globe scrambled to catch a glimpse of this fleeting visitor. Astronomers raced against time, knowing that Umuamua was already speeding away from the sun and would soon be lost to the darkness of space. Every observation, every bit of data, became incredibly valuable. Scientists worked day and night, trying to gather as much information as possible before Umuamua disappeared forever. They hoped to unlock the secrets of its composition, shape, and origin. The arrival of Umuamua was a profound reminder that our solar system is not isolated. Instead, it is part of a vast, dynamic galactic ecosystem where objects can travel unimaginable distances and cross paths with us. Debris from distant worlds, fragments of other solar systems, can traverse the emptiness of interstellar space and briefly visit our own cosmic backyard, carrying with them stories from across the galaxy. The discovery of Oumuamua fundamentally changed our perspective. It transformed the night sky from a distant, unchanging backdrop into a place of cosmic exchange, where the boundaries between star systems are more porous than we once believed. Suddenly, the universe felt more connected and more mysterious than ever before. The discovery of Oumuamua opened our eyes to the possibility of countless other interstellar travelers, each with their own story, silently passing through the vastness of space. Unlike anything in our solar system, Oumuamua was on a hyperbolic trajectory, moving too fast for the sun's gravity to capture it. This meant it wasn't bound to our star, but was simply passing through, a true visitor from the depths of space. Its path was a cosmic one-way ticket, never to return. It approached from the direction of Vega, a bright star in the constellation Lyra, traveling across unimaginable distances. Oumuamua swooped through the inner solar system, moving silently and swiftly. By the time astronomers first noticed it, the object was already on its way out, racing away from the sun and Earth. Its speed, about 196,000 miles per hour, was far beyond any comet or asteroid we know. Nothing native to our solar system moves quite like this. It was as if Oumuamua was in a hurry, unwilling to linger in our cosmic neighborhood. This extraordinary path told us it was a true interstellar wanderer, likely ejected from another star system millions or even billions of years ago. Imagine the journey it must have taken, drifting alone through the cold, empty spaces between stars, shaped by forces we can only guess at. By the time we found it, Oumuamua was already heading out, vanishing into the darkness toward the constellation Pegasus. Its visit was so brief that we barely had time to study it before it slipped away, leaving us with only fleeting glimpses and hurried observations. Today it's far beyond our telescope's reach, a ghost receding into interstellar space, growing fainter with every passing day. We may never see it again, but its memory lingers, haunting astronomers and dreamers alike. Its brief visit left us with more questions than answers. What was it made of? Where did it come from? Was it shaped by alien hands or by the random violence of the cosmos? But one thing is certain. It proved that interstellar objects do pass through our neighborhood. We are not as isolated as we once thought. The universe is full of wanderers and some will cross our path. Now we know to watch for these rare cosmic travelers. With new telescopes and better technology, we're ready to catch the next visitor from the stars and maybe learn more about the mysteries they carry. The universe is more open and more full of surprises than we ever imagined. Each discovery reminds us how much there is left to explore and how many secrets the cosmos still holds. 
The first clue to Oumuamua's nature came from its changing brightness. Every seven eight hours its light varied by a factor of ten, far more than any known asteroid or comet. This suggested an extremely elongated or flat shape tumbling through space. Scientists first imagined a cigar-like object, but later models favored a flat pancake shape. Either way, its proportions were unlike anything in our solar system. Asteroids here are rounded by collisions, comets are fragile and would break apart if stretched so thin. Oumuamua's shape was an anomaly. Nature doesn't usually make objects like this. It was a puzzle piece that didn't fit, hinting at an extraordinary origin. The mystery of its form deepened the intrigue. Was it a fragment from a shattered world, or something even stranger? Its shape remains one of the greatest clues to its true nature. As astronomers tracked Oumuamua, they noticed it was accelerating away from the sun, faster than gravity alone could explain. Normally, comets accelerate due to outgassing, but Oumuamua showed no visible tail or coma. Sensitive telescopes found no trace of dust or gas. It was behaving like a comet but looked nothing like one. This left scientists with a profound puzzle. What was pushing it? Some proposed invisible outgassing, perhaps from hydrogen or nitrogen ice which would be transparent. Others suggested it was so lightweight that sunlight itself could push it, a cosmic dust bunny. But each theory required Oumuamua to be a type of object never seen before. The gentle, unexplained push remains one of its greatest mysteries. Was it a new kind of natural object or something else entirely? The debate continues, fueled by this enigmatic acceleration. Scientists race to explain Oumuamua's bizarre traits favoring natural origins. One leading theory, a nitrogen iceberg chipped from a Pluto-like exoplanet, sublimating invisibly as it neared the sun. Another, a hydrogen iceberg, though such objects should disintegrate long before reaching us. Some suggested it was a fragment from a larger body torn apart by tidal forces, or a porous, cosmic dust bunny pushed by sunlight. Each idea stretched the limits of what we know about planetary debris. None fit perfectly, each required Oumuamua to be a new class of object. The mystery deepened. Was it a cosmic iceberg, a dust cloud, or something else? Every hypothesis pointed to an origin far stranger than any asteroid or comet we've seen. Oumuamua challenged our understanding of what's possible in the universe. Some scientists, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, considered a radical idea. What if Oumuamua was artificial? Its shape, lack of a coma, and unexplained acceleration matched what we'd expect from a solar sail technology that uses sunlight for propulsion. If Oumuamua were a thin, disk-like object, solar radiation could explain its motion. This would make it not a rock but a piece of alien technology, perhaps a probe, active or defunct. Most scientists remain skeptical, favoring natural explanations. But the debate forced us to ask, would we recognize alien technology if we saw it? Loeb's Galileo project now searches for techno-signatures, evidence of extraterrestrial technology. Oumuamua became a wake-up call, urging us to keep an open mind about what might be out there. Despite dramatic artists' impressions, we have no clear image of Oumuamua. It was too small, too distant, and too fast, appearing only as a faint point of light, even to our best telescopes. All we know about its shape and motion comes from analyzing its changing brightness. The James Webb Space Telescope wasn't operational during its visit, and today, Oumuamua is far beyond our reach. Its true form remains a mystery, pieced together from indirect clues. This lack of a direct image is why Oumuamua remains so enigmatic. Astronomers' ingenuity turned a single dot of light into a cosmic detective story. Its legacy is not in a photograph but in the questions it left behind. Oumuamua's visit was a wake-up call. We were unprepared and caught off guard. It was a fleeting encounter that left us with more questions than answers, and a sense of urgency that we could not ignore. The realization that interstellar objects can pass through our solar system at any time changed our perspective forever. Now, new tools like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory will scan the sky with unprecedented speed, likely finding many more interstellar objects. This next-generation observatory is designed to capture even the faintest, fastest-moving visitors, giving us a much better chance to spot them early. Early detection will give us time to study these visitors as they approach, not just as they leave. We'll be able to track their paths, measure their speed, and even predict their trajectories long before they reach the inner solar system. 
the James Webb Space Telescope will be ready to analyze their heat, composition, and any invisible gases. Its powerful instruments can reveal details about their surfaces and atmospheres that were impossible to detect before. If a future object accelerates mysteriously, JWST can help determine if it's natural or artificial. We'll be able to look for signs of propulsion, outgassing, or even technology, clues that could change our understanding of what's possible in the universe. Together, Rubin and JWST will usher in a new era of interstellar archaeology. By combining rapid discovery with deep analysis, we'll be able to piece together the stories of these cosmic visitors in ways never before imagined. We're no longer passive observers. We're ready to investigate these cosmic messengers. Teams of scientists around the world are preparing protocols, building networks, and training to respond quickly when the next object appears. Each new visitor will be a chance to solve the mysteries Oumuamua left behind. We'll gather data, test new theories, and perhaps even send missions to intercept these objects in the future. The next time, we'll be ready. Our eyes are open, our instruments are primed, and our curiosity is stronger than ever. The search for answers is just beginning. With every new discovery, we move closer to understanding our place in the cosmos and the nature of the visitors that pass through our celestial neighborhood. The universe is about to reveal more of its secrets, and this time, we'll be ready to listen. Oumuamua's discovery changed our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Each interstellar visitor is a sample from another star system, a chance to study the building blocks of distant worlds. These objects could reveal how planets form, what chemicals exist elsewhere, and even the ingredients for life. The ultimate possibility, finding an object that is unmistakably artificial, proof we are not alone. Such a discovery would transform our view of existence and our future. Oumuamua was the first knock on the cosmic door, showing we are part of a larger galactic neighborhood. With new telescopes, we're listening for the next visitor. Whether natural or artificial, each one is a clue in the grand story of the cosmos. The sky is no longer just a ceiling, it's a highway, and we're finally ready to see who or what is traveling on it.